where I breathed though. It <laughs> fell on the ground and opened up. So, and so yeah, well, that the dough didn't fall on the ground. The container, I just went to the store uh, and I was putting the groceries away and I dropped the canister of pizza dough on the ground and the lid popped off and then I picked it up and it started oozing out. So we're gonna have to make something quick. I wasn't planning on making pizza till like midweek. It's only Sunday. But so. I think we're gonna make, we, we're looking on Pinterest and I found a pizza. Pretzel. A, a pretzel recipe using pizza dough, Pillsbury pizza dough. So we're gonna take it out and we're gonna try a new recipe. Just spur of the moment, here we go. Take the whole thing out if you can. But first, we have to we have to lightly flour it. So set it aside when you get the whole thing out. Typically, you're supposed to pull the wrapping paper off of the tube and then hit it with a spoon and pop it. But that's not how we did it. Okay, that's a lot of dough. <laughs> set it aside. So Jillian and I just washed our hands. We're gonna put a little flour on just the work surface on, on the on here. the surface the cutting board. Okay, good, good, good. That is what we're making. Mini soft pretzel bites. It takes the pizza crust, baking soda, one egg beaten, and some salt. And if you want, you can add some mustard for dipping. No. Or we'll just eat it plain. So, but the tricky part is, and I never knew this is how pretzels were made. You have to, once you get the um, shape of the pretzel rolled out and everything, you have to boil it. You boil the water with baking soda, and then you drop them in boiling water, and then you bake it. So, I never really knew that. Maybe I should have known that. But, we're gonna try it. So, Mommy is getting all the ingredients ready. Our Cutter, pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. And then we have our egg, and then our beating thing, it's and then the dough. Whisk. Yeah, whisk. And then we have our dough and some flour right there. Oh, then we need a, a rolling salt. pin. Rolling pin. Salt is right there. Rolling pin. Mommy forgot the rolling pin. And then we preheated the oven to 450. So let's work in batches. Let's cut some off. So pull some off, yeah. Okay, good idea. Okay, now leave that part there. Actually, I'm gonna put this part in the fridge. Okay, so it keeps it nice and cold. So I'll be back. Jillian's gonna work on that. Okay, so I am- Sprinkle a little flour on it. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of flour. So I'm gonna move some of that off. It's gonna get dried out if we put too much flour. Okay, like I said, this is impromptu, on the spot, baking with Jillian and mom. What yeah. was our impromptu one? Okay, Jillian is still working on stretching that dough as soon as she can get it. Okay, so now we need four cups of water into the pot. Two. Three. So here we have our baking soda. It's gonna go in there. So that's baking soda. One fourth cup into the pot. All right, take that whisk there, Jillian, and stir that around. Okay. And then it says to bring bring that to a boil because we're gonna be dropping our dough into it. So I'm gonna go put that onto the stove, and we're gonna work on that because we're having trouble <laughs> stretching it out. So Jillian's working with the dough still. I'm trying to get the holes covered. It's working, it's working, Jill. Okay, so we rolled out the dough after a lot of work and muscle. Mm -hmm. But, um, so now we need to cut four inch strips. So, this I'm is gonna do that. Inch. Okay, why don't I do that? That's like a grown up tool. So now we're gonna tie the strips into knots. Like so. So they're gonna be like small pretzel bites, not a giant pretzel. Awesome, let's see. And then we're gonna place it onto that pan, but we're gonna drop it into the boiling water first before we bake it. So we're gonna cut the rest of this up. 
and right get it ready to boil. Yeah. Okay. So one like this. Mm-hmm. Like this. And then you just tie it in a knot. And then you're supposed to put it in the boiling water, which I'm going to go see if it's ready to boil. We also have to whisk an egg. So Jillian, you're going to do that too while I'm boiling okay. the mat you brush on top. Here are the pizza bite dough uh, tied in knots. We did our best. It was kind of tricky and sticky and goofy, and but it doesn't matter what it looks like. It just matters how it tastes. So here we have the boiling water and baking soda already. And so a grown-up will do this part because you have to be very careful dropping these in. Jillian, you're going to count to 30 because these are supposed to cook in the boiling water for 30 seconds. Ready? I'm going to put like three in. Wait, not yet. Go, count. One, two, three. Okay, and then it says to pull them out. And I'm going to put them on back on the baking sheet because they're going to go in the oven. Slotted spoon, and out they come. Now we're going to work in batches and do all of them that way. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do. Now Jillian has the Painting. beaded egg, one egg beaten, and she's going to paint on the egg onto the dough. Ew. It'll make it shiny, that's what it's for. And then it'll help the salt to stick on the top of that. Keep dipping it back in. Don't, don't be stingy with your egg. And this pan is not hot, so you can touch the pan if you need to. One more. One more. All right. Okay. So now we're going to sprinkle some salt on. Okay, so Jillian is putting salt on. Not too much, not too much. Sadly, our pretzels don't really look like pretzels tied in a knot. We did our best, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. But who cares? It was just a fun experiment. We're going to put them in the oven and bake for, I believe, 15 minutes. We'll check and see what it looks like when we're done. Do not eat that salt. That's very bad for you. Okay. No, don't do it. Uh-oh. A couple of them are burning. I think we should get it out. Some don't look done and some do. So I think I'm going to pull it out, take out the ones that look done and put them back in. They're sticking a little bit and they kind of burned on the bottom. I don't know why. I sprayed it with non-cooking spray, but it's still sticking. Maybe it's the egg. So, it, you know, not everything's going to turn out perfectly, but it's always fun to try new things. And Jillian and I love to try new things. Jillian is really anxious to try these, but they're hot, so whoop. Here, I'm, I'm going to try. I'll try in a little pizza sauce, or spaghetti sauce. Mmm. 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 Let's hurry and eat them all before Daddy and Evan come. Okay. So I'm eating it, and... It's pretty good, I guess, but not the burn part. The burn part is bad. See you next time.